Let's take a look at the highlights of the semi-final. Jordan Thompson, the fourth seed, taking on top seed John Patrick Smith and Alan Stone. It was a really interesting opening to the match and very much an arm wrestle, although Thompson got off to a really good start. Well, he was the uh, aggressor right from the start. He was going for those big ground strokes. He, what I liked is how he stayed inside the baseline, took the ball early. You see where he's hitting these shots from. Now, that means you're the playmaker. You're doing something. He was forcing... Uh, John Patrick Smith on the back foot all the time. You can see the difference in their court position there. And that's very good hard court uh, tennis tactics to be standing there and taking the ball early and taking time away from your opponent. Smith, uh, of course, had his moments with his big serve and, and uh, his some of his net play. But overall, I, I just felt that we didn't see the best of uh, him today for whatever reason. Uh, I, I think he allowed, almost allowed uh, Thompson to dominate the uh, the court with his personality, but um, great effort. Well, he did have a, a blister on his foot that he had yeah. a medical timeout for, John Patrick Smith, but really, Jordan Thompson, the, the match momentum changed in the third set. JB, uh, JP was able to get on top and then into the fourth set, it looked like he was just going to roll over the top. But yeah. shots like that and then a down game, down service game from JP Smith proved to be the difference. Yes, it just, it's hard, as we've said, to keep it going for five sets and there's always going to be the odd ebb and flow in the match. But it was a little surprising to see Smith fall away once he, once he got the third set and then appeared to be on top early in the fourth. He played one loose game and then he really, his uh, momentum was gone and he uh, never recovered. And that was the match point. So he tops a very happy with his full set win over J.P. Smith. 7-6, 6-4, 2-6, 6-3. He'll play Ben Mitchell in Sunday's final.